Welcome back to AM Buffalo on this beautiful Tuesday. We are inside Buffalo Seminary right now because it is National Sewing Machine Day and we are sitting in front of a sewing machine. Arlene Kay, thank you so much for being with us and staying with us through the show. Sure, thank you for having me. Okay, so we have a little swatch that's already perfectly placed here. Let's start by talking about how sewing machines have evolved. This is very advanced as compared to the sewing machines you might know from years past, correct? Yes, yes and no, because okay. it's more advanced. It's a computerized sewing machine, mm -hmm. um, so it's more advanced than your regular mechanical, but there are sewing machines that are way more complicated, <laughs> complicated than this. Yeah. This is so easy for kids to follow and us. And I love that. Show me how we how it's easier. There's a foot pedal like you normally would have, right? Right. And so you just kind of run it through the way you would normally run? Yeah, exactly. But what's really great about this machine, especially teaching kids, is there is a slider on the sewing machine that controls the speed. So the kids are not shh, you know, oh, they're not yes. like the sewing machine isn't just running away, away from them. Right. Yes. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. And actually, not just for the kids, that happens to me too. Right, right. So we are talking about kids getting involved in sewing because there are a number of camps here in Buffalo and um, the outlying suburban areas where you can get your kids involved in the love of snow, uh, sewing. And Fashion Lab, it happens here at Buffalo Seminary as well as Park School, correct? Right. At Buffalo Seminary, we offer a mini camp, which is part of their day camp. Mm -hmm. And we participate in six out of their six weeks um, of their camp. And then at Park, we are um, part of their specialty camp program. And we um, will be doing two camps at uh, actually the end of this month in two weeks. And then we'll be doing two more camps in the middle of the month, which is the end of their camp. So let's, session. let's talk about some of these amazing projects that you have here on the yeah. table. Because these are things that the kids will be making, correct? Absolutely. So right here, let's start and then work around the table. Okay, great. So we usually start with a more simple project of a simple pouch to teach them how to sew straight lines and pivot mm -hmm. and make a casing. That's what the golden red is. This is brand new. This is a knot bag. It's a Japanese knot bag. I love it. And Ooh. the idea behind this is I just love the simple lines mm -hmm. and it teaches the kid how the kids how to sew curves and also to do a lining. Yes. But we're going to be incorporating this bag with our fiber art camp because we're going to be doing shibori dyeing, which is Japanese tie dyeing. You so can actually all... see examples of that. Alyssa, our photographer, yes. is going to zoo, uh, pan over and you can actually see examples of that shibori tie dyeing hanging right over that, that card catalog. It's gorgeous. And this is something that teaches them cultural significance as well. I love that. A lo absolutely. And along with, you know, fashion is not just, I mean, it is sewing, but it's not just sewing. It's also fabric, learning about fabrics, learning about dyeing. It's chemistry. It's math. I mean, there are so many skills that kids get mm -hmm. from coming to our camps. Yes. And the ownership that they get from creating something that they love with a technique that they love is a fantastic feeling. I know that I feel that way when I make stuff. I'm sure you can speak to that as well. That was, I mean, sewing, I always said sewing to me was my paintbrush. Oh. And it always gave me, it, it built confidence. And I see these kids transform over a week. They come in, they're shy, they're quiet. They don't know how to use a sewing machine. And by the end of the week, they are they're just vibrant humans. Give them the web address really quickly. We're running out of time, but I wanted to make sure that people could get in on these camps. Sure, thank you. It's Fashion Lab New York, fashionlabny.com. All right, fashionlabny.com. We hope you had as much fun today as we did talking about sewing. Make sure you're following us all week. We have some great stories to share with you, and Arlene, I'm so grateful for this day. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Have a great Tuesday, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.